uh, another question. It says the average winners of a cycling tournament are approximately bell shaped. Uh, the mean age is 27.9 years. Okay, so my X bar is going to be 27.9 years. And my sigma, my standard deviation, guys, is 3.5 years. Uh, it says the winner in one recent year, the, uh, the winner in one recent year was 34 years old. Okay, so it says, um, actually, I don't know why I'm using X bar. I need to be using mu, right? we're talking about population all right um let's take a look here it says uh transform this to a z-score okay so the formula for my z-score is going to be x minus mu divided by sigma okay and so my x value in this case is going to be the 34 so i'm going to write 34 minus 27.9 divided by three and a half. Okay, so let me do this on the calculator. Clear this out. 34 minus 27.9 equals divided by 3.5 equals. So I'm coming up with 1.74. Okay, so with z scores, guys, we usually use two decimal places. So I'm coming up with 1.74. Okay, here's my z value. And correct, you got that. Okay, so now part B says interpret the results. It says an age of 34 is about how much? Well, the Z value, right? 1.74 standard deviations. Guys, the reason why it's above the mean is because this Z value is positive, okay? That Z value there is positive, okay? And then part C says determine whether the age is uh, unusual. So this is going to be in 2.5, guys, in your notes. Um, going to be like towards the end of 2.5 there's sort of a little chart it looks kind of like this i'm going to try to draw the picture the best that i can but we have a number line and we have zero and one and two and three and negative one negative two and negative three okay and <clears throat> what we say is that I'm trying to do it exactly like the way we have in our notes, but these are usual scores. Anywhere between, uh, actually it goes all the way to 2. So let me get my eraser and go like this. So usual scores are between negative 2 and positive 2. Okay? And then unusual scores would be, sorry, those would be unusual scores, right? Which would be between numbers like negative two and negative three or positive two and positive three. And then what we have here, this one here, and this one here is what we would call, oops, my handwriting is horrible today. Very unusual would be for anything smaller than negative three or anything bigger than positive three. So when the question says, no, it's not unusual because we are still in that 